Hey everyone, and welcome to another Intro to Java programming video. In this video, I just want to demonstrate what the pizza project could look like. And I've got three examples to show you. All of them are, are pretty good or very good. Um, the pizza order project is meant to explore the use of control statements and layout managers and um, GUI controls and all that kind of stuff. And what you're going to have is you're going to have some checkboxes, you're going to have um, some J buttons, you're going to have some J radio buttons, and they're all going to have to work in conjunction to order a pizza. You want to organize your um, pizza order app in such a way that things are easy to find and easy to understand. You're going to use things like the border layout and you're going to use J panels to help organize your space. You're going to use things like um, grid layout or box layout to help organize the space. And you can see this is one of the projects right here. And the way it's going to work is you're going to be able to choose the toppings that you want on your pizza. This one only has three toppings. I recommend that you have a minimum of like four or five toppings on there. This would just be okay. J checkboxes are ideal for toppings because we want to be able to add as many as possible. Okay, so I'm going to make this a pizza, a pepperoni pizza. Then I've got radio buttons here for sizes, small, medium, and large. And what's going to happen is when you choose your size and then you choose your toppings, you can click submit order and it's going to give you a, uh, a receipt that's going to tell you how much the total price is. It's going to itemize that receipt to tell you what toppings were chosen. So if I clear this out and try again, and maybe choose a large this time, you can see that it's now a $17.97 pizza because I've got three toppings at about two bucks a piece, and it's a $12 pizza by default. Now you can add as many extra things on here as you want, but this would be the minimum. One thing that's missing from this, however, is you need to have an image of a pizza in there as well somewhere. Let's take a look at some other examples here. Here's another one. We've got the ability to choose different size pizzas, and you can see this student um, makes the image change based on what type of pizza is chosen, which is really cool. You don't have to do that. You don't have to have any kind of images that change. You just have one static image in there. Maybe it's a logo, maybe it's just a pizza or whatever. You choose your toppings and you can see that the image changes based on the toppings. Okay. Once you have your size and your toppings chosen, you place order and it's going to give you an itemized receipt. It's going to tell you what the price is. It's going to tell you how much the toppings were. It's going to add tax into this one and it's going to have an output total. You'll notice here that these have, um, the outputs on these are in dollars and cents. You're going to have to figure out how to format your dollars and cents so that you've just got two decimal places. By default, you know that double type has a lot more decimal places than that. So you're going to have to figure out how to truncate it. And I'm going to tell you that it can be done by isolating the dollars and isolating the cents through simple arithmetic and then joining them together using string concatenation. That's one way to do it. There's also something out, out there called decimal formatter or number format. And you can look into those things as well to see if you can figure that out. Um, but I think the easiest way is by um, using the division by 10 operator and the remainder 10 operator to isolate certain sets of digits and um, chop other digits off. So if you did um, something like 2326 divide by 10, it would um, chop off the last digit. If we did divide by 100, it would chop off the last two digits. So you got to decide how this is going to work with some arithmetic. But this is another good example of a pizza order form. They have an image that changes, they've got a great receipt here, things are visually organized in a way that's very easy to read and follow. Here's the last example I'm going to show you. It's got a simple image here. Uh, you can see that the image does not change. I'm going to choose medium, sausage, supreme, mushrooms. And I'll submit order and you can see that it's uh, $10 for a medium pizza, each topping is $3, so my total is 
this would be an example of um, if, I, if the last one was a little bit over the top by having images changing and stuff, I would say this is a good example right here of what everybody could do in the class. Have an image on there that doesn't change, choose small, medium, and, or large, maybe you have more, more sizes if you want. Um, this one has about six toppings. I would say that would be a good number. I'd say three toppings is, is far too few. Um, but this would be a great example of what to shoot for on the project. So, in review, I want to see a pizza order form that is visually organized in a way that's very easy to find the things that we need to find, have the ability to choose a number of toppings, a size of the pizza, and then submit the order, and then print it out on a receipt in a JTEXT area. You should also have a button to clear the order out so that the user could do another one. One thing that you might do, try and figure out that this one does not do is on the clear order, figure out how to make it to uncheck all these boxes. There is a way to do that. I'm not going to explain it in any of the videos, but I think it's something that you could figure out with a little bit of research. Anyways, that's the pizza project. Best of luck and have fun.